I want to tell you, but it's so hard. So I was thinking of something else and I could not tell you. Vedika. First line here, Anvaya. Second line, Vedika. Now, how this Pradnya, that is, gets identified, or that is, identification of the Pradnya with the speech and also with the mind is demonstrated. In the next stanza, see, Pradnyayaha of Pradnya, Vagaroham. You see, this Vagaroha, this literally it means riding on speech. Like, you know, you ride on bicycle, no? Or, or the, you, the, you ride on a horse. Riding on speech means being identified, identify, being identifi identified with the speech in terms of that let me speak, let me think. So, it is now demonstrated how this, what is that, Pratnya gets identified with speech and chittam, the mind is being demonstrated in stanza 76. In the 75th stanza is being explained. Vakshami, literally, I shall speak, means let me speak, let me speak. Iti, I am Abhimanaha. This Abhimana, this identification with what? Organ of speech, Vagindriya. Let me speak. Iti, I am Abhimanaha. Vagarohaha, Iti, Iriyate. Iriyate is said to be Vagaroha, Vachaha, Arohaha, riding on speech in the sense identification with speech. Let me speak, this points out, the identification of the jiva in with the speech in terms of making it, making it use or in terms of using it, Iriyate. Likewise, the identification of the chitta, the mind or antakarna is being given. Tatha, so also, dhyasyami. Let me take to dhyana. Dhyana here, not meditation. Chintana, think. Let me think. I shall think. Let me think. Dhyasyami literally means, I shall think. Means, let me think. Iti abhimanat. Because of such identification with the mind, whose identification? Jiva. What is the tool? Pradnya. Uh, of course, presented through an antakarna vritti. Let me speak also is antakarna vritti, but there is what is that? Pradnya shakti is that. So let me think. There also the antakarna vritti, no doubt, but there is pradnya shakti. Dhyasyami iti abhimana. By this identification too, what happens? Chitta rohaha bhavi. There is chitta roha, identification with the chitta, the mind. So therefore, any function of either indriyas or antakarna is preceded by, by abhimana, an identification, let me do it, which is what pradnya shakti. So for each and every function, just like prana, 
prajna shakti also is indispensable if prajna shakti is not coupled with it happens i was thinking something else i could not tell i didn't tell so therefore this also is indispensable this shows the uh, this uh, the sarvapti of prajna shakti also like the prana shakti here one doubt is possible which you have not noticed but vidyaranya muni is aware of the doubt and he brings that doubt to your notice what is it look let me speak is a uh, abhimana in terms of pradnya shakti at what level it is there how it got manifest to antakarana vritti and then what happened the vag indriya started functioning you started chatting or chit chatting okay that's what <laughs> so you started chit chatting now here dhasyami let me think that let me think is was pradnya pradnya shakti at what level antakarana vritti then after dhyana actual dhyana means thinking at what level antakarana only how is it how is it both are at the antakarana there it was pradnya abhimana at the antakarana manifesting what cognition that let me do it and then functioning of jnanendriya or karmendriya that is it here it is not that way dhyasyami also is antakarana level dhyana also dhyana means thinking here chintana is also at antakarana how is it yes true but there is a sequence what is the sequence first let me think then you start <laughs> first so therefore let me think this pradnya abhimana precedes the actual thinking see swami ji i straight away think i know <laughs> So I never I don't waste time that way at all. What is this? Let me think, and then you may think that way. But the actual process is that way. First, that volition is there, and then is that is a very subtle thing, yes, sir. So that is a, even that also you first. Oh, let me think, let me speak, etc. It is what it appears as though it is spontaneous, but there is this. How? Let me take a wash shot. So when your mind was elsewhere, you could not do this. So that is it. Now many times it happens. If that is that, that is it. You sit for japa, for dhyana, vidhyana, this dhyana, not chinta, <laughs> some upasana, etc. And what happens? Mind is wandering. Mind is going a walk. Then, hey, I am sitting for dhyana. <laughs> I am sitting for a, no wandering. Let me. Ah, then you come to know, no, let me. Let me that way. It is that way. It is, at times it appears as though it is not there, but that is there. So that uh, this doubt is raised now. See, dhyasyami iti abhimana. Here, both abhimana, let me think, and actual dhyana, thinking, both are what? Divritti. Both are divritti means they are antakarana vritti. How do you say this? There? No, there is a sequence. There is a sequence. That is what is that? The first one that comes into picture is dhyasyami. No doubt dhyurutti, but let me think afterward. Actual thinking also dhyurutti, but comes later. So that sequence is being now given. Abhimano vi dhyurutti, abhimano dhyurutti, kapi purvam avedata, kapi purvam avedata. अभिमान पति धीवृत्ति भवे सा पति अभिमानी 
What is that abhimana identification as told in earlier in the context of chitta roha the dhyasyami let me think as in the case of vak vaga roha what was that let me speak it is also antakanurti wherein the pradnya jiva through the pradnya shakti gets identified with the vak indriya and let me think here, Pradnya Shakti, so that let me think, Antakana Vritti gets identified with the Chittam, and that the thinking is there. So now, you say, Abhimana Hapi, even that Abhimana, what Abhimana? Dhyasyami, let me think. So, Api, that also is what? Dhivritti hi bhavi. It is also a Dhivritti, Buddhi Vritti, Antakana Vritti. What are the doubts? See, look. Let me think is also antakkana vritti. Actual dhyana means chintana. The thinking also is antakkana vritti. So there he is now distinguishing. Which is abhyate, abhimana of pradnya and which is actual dhyana thinking. He says abhimana. Ha. What is that abhimana? Dhyasyami iti. Let me think iti. Api api. That particular is what thing is also what? Dhivritti hi bhavi. That also is what certainly Dhivritti antakkarna vritti. Sati, even that. What is that Sati? Abhimana rupa Dhivritti. That antakkarna vritti in terms of Abhimana identification that what is that? Namely, let me think Sati. What happens? Purvam bhavi. It takes place earlier, earlier, earlier to what? Actual thinking. This, let me think, this vritti takes place prior to the actual thinking. Atha, thereafterwards, what happens? Dhyā, by antakarna, or buddhi, dhyānādihi bhavati. Dhyānādi means dhyāna here is chintana, thinking, ādi for anything, recollecting or nishtaya, deciding, all the functions of the antakkarana. So that is dhyanadihi, so bhavet, so in this manner, iti, in this manner, ekadhihi, one and the same, dhi buddhi, the antakkarana, what does it do? Kramat, in sequence, dvayam kurute, thus, both the things. What are both the things? Let me think, pratnya manifestation, pratnya abhimana, and then actual thinking. In the speaking, it was different. In speaking, let me speak was at the dhivritti level, but actual speaking was at the karmendriya, vagindriya level. But in the chintana, both are certainly at the level of antakarna, but with this sequence. First, Pradnya Abhimana, let me think or let me recollect or etc. So, let me recollect is more clear. <laughs> if the fellow is a forgetful fellow, ah, who is that person? I saw him some, somewhere and trying to scratch the head, you know. <laughs> so that is that. So that is how, so Dhyana Adhihi, Eka Adhihi, Krama Dvayam Purute, does both the function in sequence. First, Pradnya Abhimana, then actual Chintana, etc. So now, earlier it was pointed out, Prana, Nodi Sarvapti, permeating in and through all the functions, whether Karma Indriya, Jnana Indriya, or Antakarna, Prana does permeate, Pradnya also permeates, that was proved. Earlier it was pointed out, in laya, in sleep, entire jagat merges where? In prana. Says, so that means entire jagat abides in prana. Now he points out, while awake, 
entire jagat abides in pradnya in laya entire jagat abides la in prana whereas while awake entire jagat abides remains where in pradnya so that is it is all just as in the laya or also utpatti so that was the point of at the time of creation at the time of birth utpatti or dissolution laya entire jagat abides where in the prana likewise in sthiti kala sthiti kale means then the jagat continues everything abides in pradnya so that should be understood properly in being pointed out in the dissolution of the creation and during the utpatti the actual uh, or beginning of the creation in both layotpattyo sarvam jagat entire jagat where is it abiding where does it abide sarvam jagat prane avasthitam it abides where in prana this was told in standa 62 and 66 just for your reference this was told in stanza 62 and 66 that the entire jagat abides in prana during laya sleep or dissolution or in utpatti the actual beginning of the creation tatha in the same manner so now here in 78 it is being told tatha cha pradnyayam in pradnya shakti sarvam everything means sarvam jagat entire jagat sarvam jagat sthiti kale vyavasthitam sthiti kale vyavasthitam abides at the time of sthiti continuous now you tell me right now where your jagat abides if you say prana <laughs> you are in laya that's all so you are in laya so but you will not be able to tell it is in prana <laughs> yeah. after i have started laughing oh acha 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 so you say so now it is abiding where in the pradnya shakti that i am telling taking for granted you are awake <laughs> so sthiti kale in the sthiti kala sarvam jagat entire jagat where is it abiding prana is this prad pradnyayam व्यवस्थितम् सो नाउ ऑल दो थिंग्स दैट आर डिस्क्राइब्ड अबाउट प्राणा एंड प्रज्ञा रिमेंबर कॉन्टेक्स्ट इज़ व्हाट प्राण उपाधि प्रज्ञा उपाधि आर बीइंग मेड एस उपाय टू गेन द आत्मज्ञान व्हेन आफ्टर 
by upasana. Which upasana in this Upanishad? Atma is endowed with pranopadi and pradnyapadi. By that, when the chitta ikagriya was gained, thereafter what told? We have to investigate into the upadhi of prana and pradnya and why they are made use for gaining the knowledge. Having done that, this topic as regarding the nature of prana and pradnya in terms of well, helping us to gain the atma jnana is being concluded now. The, the topics were like this. In stanza 56 to 60, the uktatva nature of prana and pradnya was described. In stanza 56 to 60, prana and pradnya as uktam. What are the dukkham? The one who makes the body get up. So that was pointed out. Then stanza, in stanza 61 and 62, prana and pradnya as what? Sarva jagat karanatva. As the cause of entire jagat was shown. Further, the sarva guna of prana and pradnya was pointed out. In 69 and 70, the sarvapti guna of prana, whereas in 71 to 77, the sarvapti guna of pradnya was shown. 69-70, sarvapti guna of prana, whereas in 71 to 71, sarva 77, 71 to 77, the sarvapti guna of the pradnya shakti was pointed out. So these are the glories. Uh, of course, also there was one more thing was there. In stanza 36, the proximity, samipya of prana and pradnya was pointed out. So in stanza 36, samipya, that the being proximate, prana and pradnya shakti are proximate to atma, this is pointed out. These are something, the unique features of prana and pradnya. As a result of which, because of this specific features of prana shakti and pradnya shakti, the both prana and pradnya upadhis for shaktis are used as upaya for gaining the knowledge for svatmava bodhane. The mukhya upadhis are to gain the knowledge, the prana shakti and pradnya shakti. So this topic is now being concluded. Pradnya prana upato mukhya upadhi svatmava bodhane.
Pradnya and Prana have got number one. What is it? Samipya. Number two, Uptatva. Number three, Sarva Jagat Karnatva. Number four, Sarvapti. So because of these reasons, Setataha, therefore, Swatmava Bodhani, to gain the at knowledge of Atma Sarupa. To gain the knowledge of one's own true nature, Atma, Swatma, Bodhani. These two, what are they? Pradnya, Kadao. Pradnya Shakti, Pradnya Shakti, Prana Shakti. These two Padhi, Pradnya, Prana. Mukhyo Padhi Bhavataha. They are Mukhya Upadhi. See, Upadhi, Upadhi, nominative duality. It is not Upadhi, nominative singular. Dirgha is that, not Raswa. Upadhi, Upadhi, it is in the dual. So the two Mukhya main or prominent Upadhis, Bhavataha, happen to be, means they are two Mukhya main Upadhis to gain the Atma Jnana of one's belong to gain the Atma Jnana. Tadvarena, through the means of these two Mukhya Upadhi. Tadvarena, to the means of these two upadhis, what should be done? Vivekina, by a person who has got viveka, that faculty of discrimination. What is Atma Swarupa? What is Anatma Swarupa? How my Swarupa is totally free from Anatma upadhis. So such means one who has got that preparedness of the mind to take to such viveka, discrimination, vivekina, adau, you say, see, not straight away jump. He gives the step by step how the, 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 the viveka has to be conducted. Adau, jivatma, avabodhavya. First, he should ascertain and know what the jivatma is. So why? Why not straight away? Jump to Pratyagatma? No. Because first, at first step, he points out Jivatma is distinct from Vishayas and Dehendriyas. So what is the present concept of a lay person? Of course, not you people. <laughs> After so much of exposure to Vedanta, what is the concept of a lay person as far as I, the individual is concerned? Endowed with Dehendriyas, not only Dehendriyas, identification with the Vishyas also is there. That, that yesterday only brought car got a little dent or a scratch. A scratch in the heart now. Ayo, right? That much of identification. So, first, one has to sift, distinguish Jivatma from the Vishayas and Deha Indriya. And what is Jivatma from what you have studied so far? See, he is, Jivatma is endowed with two parties, Kukshma and Sthula. Sthula and Upadi and Sthula Deha and Vishayas are separated as not Atma. What remains now? Sukshma Upadi of Jivatma remains. Then separate it from Sukshma Upadi and appreciate, directly cognize the Sakshi Chaitanya Sarupa Atma which is Brahma. So from that you proceed step by step. See because this is easy. See look, how, do you, how can you say that I the Jiva is different from the body? Is very bad. Those who have got Shraddha in the Shastras, what they do? They take to many karmas. What type of karmas? Not worldly karmas, spiritual activities for gaining heaven, etc., prayers, etc. What for, for whom? And many of the results are not coming in this life. After this life, after this life, when this, when this person dies, 
is the if the body where I for whom it is the body is perished, other one who is traveling that is the jiva. So for that means that shows also that jiva atma is distinct from the gross body. Otherwise, no one will take to any karmas as enjoy karmas or upasanas as enjoyed by the chakra because why? I take so much of pain to do all these things, and once the body goes off, everything is waste. Instead of what, let me do. Kavo piyo maja karo. Bas, let me do those things. No, no. Shraddhavan, astikya buddhi is there. No individual jiva is distinct from the gross body. So even this body perishes, jiva is going to take the next embodiment. Let that, let me be what? Let me have happiness. This fellow prepares for after death also. But you prepare in what way? <laughs> you you don't fall for this also. So why? Why? Why you want that afterwards? Finish the game right now here. Goodbye. Thank you. <laughs> yeah. See, after Atma Dhyana, do you know what happens? There is a sense of gratitude and thankfulness to everyone, including the rank one enemy. <laughs> why? Because of that fellow only I could take to his Adhyatma. Otherwise, I would have got lost in all this. Otherwise, say, Ram, 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 Ram. When the problems come, you think of God, etc. So, like that. So, that means that, that intensity to gain the knowledge will get the edge. So, with because of these things only as such. Otherwise, everything is going on smoothly. Taking in next life, after all, we, as far as we Hindus are concerned, no problem. <laughs> we, we have got enough, enough rebirth that that problem is for Christians. Only because they think it is not true, okay? Rebirth is for everyone. So that is, they may think that way, that is somebody's brainwave it is. That Henry the Eighth, that he made that, played that mischief. Okay, that is fine, sir. So, he will be at ease as such. No, to thappad me dega, tabhi to akkal aegi. So, that is, oh, that is what said. See, the real friend is not sukha but dukha. Because if there is sukha, you get carried away. If dukha, in course of time, at least you will start thinking, if some viveka, either you will start, thinking that is how it is. So anyway, so that was said, so first you, that is Adav, in the beginning, what is that? By Viveki what should be done? Jivatma Avabodhavya. So, Jivatma should be known. How? By distinguishing, it will be shown now, by distinguishing the Jivatma as different from Vishaya and Dehindriya with which we are prone to get identified with sense object vishayas and deha and indriya we are prone to get identified and conclude wrongly that they only constitute the I atma first get rid of that wrong notion so that ascertainment is being now shown Yes. Now, 
अभी बताना क्या बस बस पूर्व काम क्रियावाद अहम चर्ता अनुभूये So what is the context now? Ascertaining I as what? Jivatma. Ascertaining I, me, individual as Jivatma. The Pratyakatma afterwards. First, I, the individual Jivatma, so is to be ascertained. So for which? So he is presenting an inference. What is that inference? See, what exactly this I in terms of Jiva? You see, what is it to say that so, first he proves by inference that there is some I distinct from Vishaya and Dehendriya. How is it? Vachayat nama vivadanam sya. Context is, so a person is speaking. Hmm? Person is speaking. All things are there. Let me speak, etc. That is, but now actual speaking. What do you say? Who's asking? Who is speaking? What did he say? I am speaking. So that is what it is. Context is that way. Vacha, by the organ of speech. Yet, whatever. Nama abhivadanam. Namnaha abhivadanam. Abhivadanam means speaking. Say what name means speaking the name, taking a name. Oh, Rama. Krishna. So somebody says Rama. So this speaking, by taking the name Rama or Krishna, say Nama Abhivadanam Namnaha Abhivadanam Syat. So this takes place. Means, what is being made use of to, that is, utter the name. What is being made use of as an instrument I am adding Karana, instrument to utter the name, to tell the name. What? Means, what is an instrument? And it is made use of. Any instrument is made use of by who? By a doer, a karta is that the instrument by itself will not act. Even suppose, suppose a rocket is going by itself, there is a karta there. Though he may not be in the rocket, but somewhere remote control he is operating. A sentient being is involved. So therefore, vacha, by this instrument of organ of speech, yet whatever, namna nama abhivadanam, means namnaha abhivadanam, uttering the abhivadanam, saying, uttering the name, it is what? Tat, that one, kartrupurvakam syad. It is preceded by who? A karta. A doer is employing the instrument, organ of speech to speak. How do you say? He gives the reason. Kriyatva, because speaking is a kriya, action. How? Illustration. Krishivat. Like farming. Like farming. Farming is a kriya, action or not? So who is the karta? Farmer is the krishivat. So therefore, aham cha karta iti anubhuyati. So what is experience? I am the karta, doer. What doership here? Speaker. I am the one who speaks. I am the speaker. So it is experience. Yes or no? You may not utter that I am the speaker. But you have the experience that I am speaking. Means the doer is that, karta is that, who is building the instrument called organ of speech. And speak how? And how that karta must be there? Because speaking is an action. Like what? Like the farming or anything else, or driving, or cycling, or walking. So that way. So that is that. So this is this is experience or not? Now you say. Now this I, who is a doer, is being shown as, and this the doer is only jiva. Jiva in terms of action. Same jiva in terms of experience will be bhokta, the experiencer. So now, this 
अहम भी ही दैट आई द कर्ता इज बीइंग शोन एज डिस्टिंग फ्रॉम विषय द सेंस ऑब्जेक्ट एंड आल्सो द देह इंद्रिय दैट वे जीव इज असरटेन एज डिस्टिंग फ्रॉम विषय द देह इंद्रिय समथिंग इज लूज आई थिंक शब्दादि विषय कैन बी आई और देह इंद्रिय कैन बी आई इज बीइंग नाउ रिफ्यूटेड मीन्स शब्दादि विषय कैन नॉट बी आई इज शोन इन द स्टांडा वन एज नॉट स्टांडा लाइन वन ऑफ स्टांडा एटी वन एंड सेकेंड लाइन पॉइंट्स आउट देह इंद्रिय कैन नॉट बी आई द कर्ता अहम शब्दादि विषय अहम दी ही अहम दी द आई नोशन That I am the doer, etc. Karta as I is what shabda adi vishaye with respect to shabda sparsha rupa rasa gandha the five types of vishayat. Kena api vaktum nahi shakyate. Nobody can say so that shabda is I or this sparsha is I. Anyone? No. You can't. You always take as what. They are uh, different. Nobody can say any of the uh, vishayas as I. Tatha shabda adi vishaye ke na api by anyone vaktum nahi shakyate. It is not possible. Means by universal experience we know that no one takes the vishayas as I. At times one may get identified with them, but it is not correct. Everyone knows. You know what will happen? Suppose if Vishayas are I, this fellow is sick, and after, in spite of many treatment, nothing happened. Finally, went to Ayurveda. <laughs> The doctor gave hope, but he said very strict diet restriction has to be followed. What you say? Will ask the wife. You undergo, <laughs> you undergo the diet restriction. So after all, my illness. So therefore, what you say? I will take the medicine. No, no, because that vishaya cannot be. I yes, sir. So therefore, shabda adi vishaye aham dhi ke na api vaktum nahi shakyate is not possible. Means so the cognition of I that is in the sense the cognition of I notion can never be in the vishaya shabda sparsha rupa. Everyone, even child also will not take it to be. So, tatha, so so also, deha dehendriya, the dehendriya shu api. Even in dehendriya, so the cognition of I in deha and indriya also is not possible. What is the reason? How do you say so? The reason is given. Madhyatvava bhasana. All these are known to be what belonging to me. 
ಶಬ್ದ ಸ್ಪರ್ಶ ರೂಪ ರಸ ಗಂಧ ಬಿಲಾಂಗ್ ಟು ಹೂ ಮೀ ದೇಹ ಇಂದ್ರಿಯ ಬಿಲಾಂಗ್ ಟು ಹೂ ಮೀ ವಾಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಇಟ್ ಎ ಷಷ್ಠಿ ಸಂಬಂಧ ಸಿಕ್ಸ್ ಕೇಸ್ ಈಸ್ ಯೂಸ್ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ಇಟ್ ಪಾಯಿಂಟ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಎ ರಿಲೇಷನ್ ರಿಲೇಷನ್ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ವಾಟ್ ಡಸ್ ಇಟ್ ಮೀನ್ ದ ಓನರ್ ದ ಪಸೆಸರ್ ಈಸ್ ಡಿಫರೆಂಟ್ ಫ್ರಾಮ್ ದ ಪಸೆಸ್ಡ್ ಆರ್ ದ ಓನ್ಡ್ ದರ್ ಪರ್ ವಾಟ್ ವಿಷಯಾಸ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ದೇಹೇಂದ್ರಿಯ ಕ್ಯಾನಾಟ್ ಬಿ ಐ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ದರ್ ಪರ್ ದೇ ಕ್ಯಾನಾಟ್ ಬಿ ಟೇಕನ್ ಎ ಐ ದ ಕ್ವೆಶನ್ ಕಮ್ಸ್ ನಾವು ದೆನ್ ಟು ಹೂಮ್ ಡಸ್ ದಟ್ ಐ ಡೂವರ್ಶಿಪ್ ಕರ್ತೃತ್ವ ಬಿಲಾಂಗ್ ಕರ್ತ ಐ ದಿಸ್ ದಿಸ್ ಸ್ಟೇಟಸ್ ಕ್ಯಾನಾಟ್ ಬಿಲಾಂಗ್ ಟು ವಿಷಯಸ್ ಇಟ್ ಕ್ಯಾನಾಟ್ ಬಿಲಾಂಗ್ ಟು ದೇಹ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಇಂದ್ರಿಯಸ್ ಸೊ ದರ್ ಫಾರ್ ರೂಲ್ ಡಾಟ್ ವೈ ಆಲ್ ದೀಸ್ ಆರ್ ಎಕ್ಸ್ಪೀರಿಯನ್ಸ್ ಅಂಡರ್ ವಾಟ್ ಮೈಂಡ್ ದೆನ್ ಹೂಮ್ ಡಸ್ ಇಟ್ ಬಿಲಾಂಗ್ ದಟ್ ಈಸ್ ನೌ ಲೆಟ್ ಅಸ್ ಸಿ ನೌ i notion i do that is kartrutva and ahankara was pointed out through what kartrutva with respect to any kriya this ahankara thai notion so when is it available anakagram vapuhu vyapya avatishtate vapuhu vyapya pervading the entire body up to what anakagram a stands for paryantam nakagram the tip or the end of the nail now which end of the nail like your nose has two ends nail also has got two ends the beginning the beginning not the other one not the ending end so that beginning one so up to the tip of the at home you can see don't see here okay <laughs> so up to the tip of the nay even you can say up to the tip of the hair uh, up to the tip of the hair the other end of the hair you can't have the eye notion but where the if the hair starts you have got if you have got doubt after the little pull it pull, pull it then you will understand so therefore see up to the anakagram up to the tip of the uh, this nail or the hair vapuhu vyapya pervading the body avatishtati ahankara is available see up to the nail or the hair and how he pervades he says this ahankara chit pratchit bimba pratibham bimba bhyam vyaptah it pervades the body in terms of chit bimba main chaitanya tattva bimba is original pratibimba is reflection main chaitanya tattva and chit pratibimba chidabhasa see we know the body is pervaded by chidabhasa chit pratibimba why chit bimba he has brought because without the main chaitanya bimba pratibimba chidabhasa is not possible without the sun 
Surya Pratibhimba is not possible. So like that, this body is pervaded by Ahankara up to the end, up to the name and what in terms of what? The, uh, the Chaitanya and Chida, Chit and Chida Bhasa, Vyaptaha. Asa and that Ahankara, Asa means that Ahankara, Kartrutam Vrajet, gains the status of being the doer. See, I am the doer to have this notion. First, what should be that? I am the body. Without that, it's not possible. That's why in sleep, you don't have... I am the doer. Suppose, by reflex, uh, reflex action, you slapped a mosquito. You are not aware. Why you are not aware? Identity in the body is not there. You are not aware of the body. Why not aware of the... Chit, chit Bimba is there. Yes. Chidhabhasa is not available to the body. Ansakarna is dormant. Ahamvrutti is not available. Therefore, Chidhabhasa is not available. So, therefore, first I notion, then the comes the doership. So, therefore, asau, asau, this Ahankara gains the status of the Karta, the doer. So this way, so where is this Ahankara available? In the body, up to the up to the nail or the hair, pervading the entire body in terms of Chit Bimba and Chit Pratibimba and afterward it becomes what? The Ahankara it becomes. So further. Yeah, <laughs> 